Right, this is part two of the black ink drawing with acrylic paints. Now what I'm going to do with this is to put a light streaky sky in, nice bright sky, a fairly light down here because when, when I dry it I want to put a darker bluey violety, or blue and alizarin really, maybe a bit of Payne's grey uh, behind this to, and then draw into it to give an impression that there's more going on behind this flat plane here. It stretches the landscape. That's what I want to achieve and I want to put some sort of hills in there as well. And I'll do it as simply as possible. Now since this is a, a lesson of back to basics I'll show you around my the, studio, the bit of the studio. So I'll just zoom out and I'll go back to to the, my, my box easel which I use for watercolours and acrylic. I've got other easels, I've got a metal easel, I've got a studio radial easel. And here we have all the the the, the Cotsman 21mm tubes of watercolour paper, a cloth in a handy little container here. As you can see this easel is much used. Various brushes. My main brush is the two inch hake of course. Over there. I've got three of those in various states of decrepitude. An inch flat and a half inch flat. I've got there, which I've got number six sable mix or sable. It's quite a nice little brush that. Then there, I've got a variety of riggers. Uh, that's my new rigger, number number three. So I can stay there. Uh, a rubber, of course. And in my drawer here, I've got various other putty rubbers. Or needed putty rubber. I've got those to, to, to take me over the £40 minimum postage. So usually it ends up like about, th about £38 or something. So I have to buy a rubber to make up so I get the free postage. Okay, so that's that's about it. My, uh, what I draw with is a graphite stick, mostly. I used to use a 4B pencil, which is still right. That's how I shave it. I shave the shoulder right away so that I can go quite low with the with the side of the, the of the lead. Same same with this. I like a long point rather than the short points because I, I hold my pencil quite a lot like this, especially when, I, when I'm drawing in roughly. Uh, that's about it really. The black acrylic paint. I must get back to some acrylic paintings. Various inks but I'm using the black acrylic paint, that's just as good. Uh, masking fluid here, which uh, I don't use. Uh, did I show you these brushes? I said, these are the two, sorry, I, I might have missed you out there. All right, they're the, the acrylic flats, and they're very useful for doing things like this. Uh, there we are, that's about it really. So let's go back up to the the painting and zoom in no more than that so if you can't if you like close-ups but I can't do close-ups and paint I'm not a professional filmer I... right okay so I'll um, I'll wet the paper all over wet him, wet him wet See, the painting of, a, of the drawing, as you know, doesn't take very long. We're just filling in the colour, really. I've done the main work in the drawing. It's quite dry today, so the paper dries, or the water soaks into the paper. It's 130 pound weight, Fabriano. It's ideal for this. Perhaps a little bit smoother, but it all comes at a price. And these, I can buy blocks of 100 for about 30 pounds plus postage. I paint, thanks to Maria, Kona, I keep in, in these Ziploc bags and give it a bit of a spray. It's all lovely and moist till I pick it up again. So there we are, nice juicy paint ready to be flopped on or slapped on the paper. So, a, a bit of a nice warm colour, raw sienna, just to brighten up and unify the, the, the whole thing. So we just put those in. 
to the horizon. You can always put a bit of more burnt sienna on the horizon, which I like to do. Just gives you a bit of a warm. Okay, so that's that. Now while that's soaking, I can put in some nice blue. I keep my skies as simple as possible with this type of painting. It's because of the nature of wet watercolour paper, you have to work very quick in this state, otherwise you'll get cauliflowers. So a bit of, bit of blue, nice bit of blue. And Just coming out. I don't want this to compete with the, the, the bit down here. So a bit of red in there, a bit of light red. And then we just put in some, some clouds. Now nice, nice bit of movement in that sky. That's all I'm going to do on that. Remember your clouds go behind the, uh, the trees. So that, that'll do. We'll, we'll let that do its worst now as it dries. We'll pull the paper tight and we'll do a bit of the... Uh, I want to try to go off the paper there a bit so that uh, my background doesn't get lost. So we'll put in some nice lemon yellow, dirty lemon yellow, that'll do. Just here and there. And some nice sienna. Burnt sienna, raw sienna, vary the colours of this, so otherwise it, it makes for, for monotony. A bit of Payne's grey with the lemon yellow. And I'll go over this with a bit of, with a rigger afterwards, once we've got these colours in. Okay, that'll do, a bit of shadow we'll put in there, a bit of, a bit of sienna. But all nice and rich and warm colours there. Lemon yellow again. So we've, we've got a nice uncluttered, simply paint, painted foreground. Just finish some of that white highlights. I don't want too many of those to show. Bit of shadow in there. But see, yeah, I know just a bit of grey. It's quite a warm shadow. Same here. Well, we can make that with a bit of blue and red. Or there. Got some rogue ultramarine oh, just sort of hanging about there. Uh, shadow in there. Show this path there. Uh, ooh. We're putting some dark ruts. I'm sort of think, thinking aloud really. imagining the tracks are coming down here. Right, we won't labour that anymore. We'll let that dry off and we'll go back with a bit of background now, so just a bit of bit of blue and and alizarin. But very, very faint because I don't want this to compete with me. 
of what I'm going to put behind it. Uh, this is just the back top. Going to nothing there. All right, I'll give that a dry. So take your headphones off. Right, reclip, and then we're going to do the uh, the background to the trees. So, as I mentioned before, a bit of paint grey, I think, with a bit of the blue, a bit of a bit of a So I might put some branches in there. We might quite give an impression that it's stretching back into the landscape behind. Put, when that dries, I'll put some burnt sienna in as well. Get nice and. I sort of forget what I'm going to say because I'm thinking of the, I'm thinking ahead of myself. Oh, let's just put it somewhere this here. All right, okay, might might have done it there a little bit. There. Right, dry. Right, so some burnt sienna, bit of yellow, and we'll just put in some some warm wintry colours here. Just warms up that horizon a little bit. A bit on the other side. A bit of, bit of grey with this. An ivy. Okay, that, that will do. I don't know if it will do it. Right, now we'll put in some of this. Sienna over some of this here just to warm it up a little bit. Right, okay. Now, some nice bit of burnt umber. A little bit of that grey, a bit of that blue. Too much water on the brush. I'm going to just dry, dry brush the uh, canopies. Right, okay, now then, give it another dry, headphones off. <coughs> now with a rigger, we'll put in some, some of these uh, trees behind, now with the blue, one coming up here. See how easy that is, look. 
just filling in, completing or justifying that blue behind. Oops, that's too strong. Nice and, nice and weak. That, that'll dry nice and light, we hoped. And there's some over the other side. Put some in behind there. So now we've got a wood, we've got a wood behind the main trees. That probably a, bit, a little bit heavy there. Uh, now we're going to have to put a figure in somewhere. Now we'll put a the blonde lady. That'd be Maxine. Maxine. Can't remember. Well, we're painting fairly light. She, she's going to church. She doesn't. But she's going along this path. Let's so get a little red, red dress. Let that dry. Bit of a red, oops, ribbon around the hat of bunch of them, I suppose. Poor old Steve, still slaving away and trying to get a hole through uh, Dorking Flattens. That's a brick. So a bit of shadow. Um, right, let's put some shadow in. Just to complete the picture. Well, that'll do. There's a few birds. Well, there we are. That's that's it. Just washed in. Let's uh, put a put a mount on it. Now this is part two. I don't think we need to do much more than that. I'm testing that mount first. What do you think? Well, I think that looks all right. Right picture, bright uh, now. Well, there you are. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll bring you round, square up, and there we are. One, one little Norfolk picture. Uh, sorry about you, Maxine, put in there. But as you did say you were tall, so I've made you tall. Um, anyway, that, that, that is about it. Any questions about it, just, just ask. I hope you like that. I've made it as sim simple as I can, especially with the washing in afterwards. The drawing was the thing. So there we are. I'll see you soon. Sorry about the noise. Bye bye. <laughs>